Is this going to be a monstrosity or... Oh! Uh... <laughs> What's up guys and today we're gonna try Photoshop beta. They have introduced a little feature called content generation fill. So we're gonna test it on three different pictures, which I think will have different kind of difficulty for the generative AI. So how do you get access to the Photoshop beta? So you go into your creator cloud desktop software, click application beta section, and then you're gonna see it Photoshop beta and just click install and it's done. I don't think it's gonna put an icon on your desktop. So just run it from there when you have the option to. And it does install in a different folder. So you don't have to worry about your production Photoshop that you use every day. So first picture, me! I think that was while I was doing the ASRM video about my power supply. <laughs> Let's go with the subject select. I think there's a little spot that they missed here. If I do it like that, did it put the tool to invert here? Invert selection. So I want to generate fill on what's around me and I'm gonna change the background. I want to be in the Grand Canyon. Grand, oops, Grand. Canyon. Is that gonna work? Oh, we didn't recognize your prompt as English. <laughs> Grand Canyon spelled correctly. This is about 10 to 20 seconds, more or less. From what I understand, it's analyzing the picture and making their cloud work. So it's not necessarily your machine. Ugh. Okay, that uh, original selection did not really work well. And here, Ooh, okay, the merging did not work at all. If we look here, oh yeah, okay, the selective did not work very well. I would say your selection needs to be very good for this to work correctly. And maybe I could uh, have expanded a little bit the selection, so that would be to revisit the background only. It's actually not too bad. Suggestion number two. Okay, suggestion number three by the jungle. Oh. He's thinking a little bit more. So that is more than 20 seconds now. So this is still in beta. It shows, it shows. Oh, this is taking way too long. Let's cancel that. So I, I click cancel and it just sent me into the jungle. Okay, that, that's weird. But you see here though, that although the selection, I didn't change the selection of the subject, is different. Now it's actually doing something a little bit better for the uh, background, the merge between the jungle and the subject, which is me, is a little bit better compared to the other ones. All right, picture number two. That's a girl. I actually have the full picture and she's like swinging her hair. But I want to see if the content generation can add a human to the picture. We'll see, we'll see. But first, I want to remove uh, some dirt over here. I'm gonna select uh, this over here, generate fill that, and I'm gonna see nothing. And I could do that probably with something else. Oh, okay, what's that? <laughs> what, what is that? But I, I can do it again. There you go, remove that. So, still not perfect. Ah, that's better, that's better. It kind of left. I don't know if we're gonna see that with the YouTube, the compression. But it kind of left a little circle, but uh, yeah, so I can see really a big circle. It's not exactly on the same color. But let's go over here. Let's remove that. Oh, system is currently busy. Please wait and retry your request shortly. Thank you for your patience. Let's go back on a picture. <laughs> let's, let's remove that normal dot. <laughs> and the server seems to be a little bit more available right now. Cool. There's probably also a number of times you can use it per hour or per minute. Like if you just smash the button, you know, that's on you. So perfect for that. Let's remove my tripod here. Generate fill. Just remove that. Oh, system is still busy. Uh, I'm gonna have to wait more. <laughs> Isn't better? That's fine. While the message is there, doesn't mean we need to wait. And when the message disappears, we can click again. Or do we need to, for example, wait a minute? So it's, that's not clear in their message. Perfect. A little bit, a little bit line here. That's fine. So now for the hard part, I want to add top of our body. So let's crop. Oh, I'll give him some space, right? I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna tell him, good luck. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> let's see what that's gonna be. Is this going to be a monstrosity or? 
<laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> well, he got the dress right. So let's zoom in a little bit. Ew, yeah. Okay. Well, that's one thing. So not good with humans yet. <laughs> or maybe you could change the, for example, you'll be able to change the dress color or stuff like that, or just change it for something else. But as far as building a new human, fail. <laughs> fail. Before I go to the last picture, what about Adobe Generative AI? Better user guidelines. There is a few things. And if we go to the end of all of that, it is written no commercial use. So while generative AI features are in beta, cannot be used commercially. They are aiming for the end of 2023 for this to be in Adobe Photoshop normal version. So the general available version, just cross your fingers and hopefully we can create humans. <laughs> all right, last picture. So there's a few things I'm thinking about doing here. So this is a bridge. Let's put it a little bit larger. Sides are selected. Just go generate. The system is busy. <laughs> okay, that's actually not too bad. I do not remember what's the end of that, but yeah, it kind of made the lines pretty interestingly. Kind of continued across here. I don't think that in the uh, real version, it's exactly like that, but still it kind of uses imagination to continue the pattern which is kind of interesting we're gonna do another test we're gonna go up is it going to end the bridge is it going to continue the bridge infinitely that's pretty subjective i guess okay he kind of made the bridge uh, sort of infinite and we can see here that he doesn't really know what to do which is and the bridge is a little bit quirky here it's like attending to have a sort of a curve. Oh, I can, I can vote. Wait, wait, I need to get back on this. <laughs> wait, this is this, yes. Oh, I'm so voting no. <laughs> so yeah, this is pretty good. Let's vote plus. I want to remove those tracks and I hopefully it will be, the tracks will be lined up. So let's make a selection in there here. So I made a rough selection around the tracks. Generate, complete the tracks and boom. And wow, that's actually, quite impressive if we look at the before after before after that's actually it kind of read my mind so if you like those kind of video guys thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and see you in the next video take care